My name is Mark X Files, and today we will we will be talking about Spider Man and this Sony Spider Universe. I'm sorry, that was my cellular device going off. But today we are about to be talking about this Sony verse, this so called entertainment, I suppose, but it isn't good entertainment. It's low quality, low tier. It's at the bottom what Sony has been producing for us. Like, they have not cooked. They keep making spinoff off of Spider-Man villains. And not any of these movies are good. And we follow the antagonists in that these movies do not turn out good without inserting Peter Parker, a.k.a. Sp Spider-Man, up in the movie. They just have been going downhill, don't hold any type of weight, don't hold any type of importance. These movies have been trash. Like Madam Web. Um um Craven is about to be trash. And we just watched Venom The Last Dance with Tom Hardy and that movie was garbage. It made no sense. Storytelling is trash. And I'm glad that Marvel is not bringing on any of these anti-heroes or villains up in their Marvel Cinematic Universe. I am so glad they are not. And I believe that we are supposed to be acquiring Silk and also Spider-Noir. That Spider-Man looks fire. I think that that would be a hit with Nicolas Cage. I think that's going to be fire. That one, I got my eye on that bad boy. It looks like if that is about to be a hit. And, like, if they have it up in black and white, too? Oh, man. I, I Up in across the Spider-Verse, he said, oh, I am colorblind. No, into the Spider-Verse, he said, oh. I am, a, I, I am colorblind. I see the same color. And yo, because of his world is black and white. Like, that was fire. I love that joke. It was good. It was awesome. That I got high hopes on. But whatever Sony has been producing, they are leaving the food uncooked. Or like, it isn't thoroughly cooked. And they're serving it to the people. And I'm like, no, we cannot accept this. No, 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 no. No way, no way, Jose. We cannot because um the only thing that they have is the Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse. That, that is the only good thing going for them at the moment is that. That is their good IP. And Miles, man, if that Sony does Miles Morales, that fictional character, he is done for. It will not be good. And me, I blame Sony. Sony suck at doing live actions. And us, we need to rebel against them having the rights to Spider-Man. Because they're not doing the so, so good job with Spider-Man. Or his villains. They're doing a terrible job with Spider-Man villains in his shows. Time after time after time. And, um... Now, uh, people are talking about boycotting it, not watching Spider-Man, because how bad it is. It, it's terrible at this point. There's no redeeming qualities from the Sony universe of their Spider-Man villains and all of this. It's getting out of, out of hand, man. I won't be paying money for another Sony Marvel movie, to be honest. And me, I understand. People grow frustrations with... Sony just not being successful at making these films constantly, constantly a letdown, a lack of creativity, a lack of comprehension of the story. It isn't making any sense and that we can't grasp upon it. It's getting bad out here, man, for the Sony universe. It's really getting bad out here. And to me, I'm like, what the heck is going on? What's going to heck? Well, what the heck is going on? So... So, y'all got on my ass about this. You you were wrong then. You're still wrong now. Y'all always be wrong if you think Sony should keep the rights to Spider-Man and the characters associated with the license. 
I agree. Dear Sony Pictures, release the rights back to Marvel sincerely. I agree with that, but no. Sony doesn't have to give in the rights back to Marvel, but back to Disney. They don't have to do that. They have ownership. They paid for the rights. Who is you is to tell to tell Sony is to get rid of the rights. I mean, I understand. I understand you, your perspective and everything you are saying, but Marvel is is going to have to pay, and that fee will be large. Knowing Sony, if I'm them, man, nine billion for Spider Man. Nine billion off rip or ten, they can sell that that fictional character for that much. That's crazy, but it's true. The name known as Spider Man is a is a is a is a um is a cash cow. Not Superman, but Spider Man is a cash cow. So if Marvel want those rights, if I'm honest, I would have let Sony fail. I would have let them fail miserably, miserably, and just continue with the Avengers. I'm sorry. That's able what I would have done. And then after failure, after failure, after failure, then is then um 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 well it don't it doesn't even matter if it fails or not, as long as Sony keeps making a Spider-Man movie or something tying into Spider-Man associated with that fictional character. That's all that matters. It has to be and within four years, I believe, or something like that up in the contract. So, so yeah, so people can't tell people to like, oh, get rid of Spider-Man. No, 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 no. Marvel should have in the rights. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You can't do that. That's a no, 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 no. I understand. I'm mad too. I'm mad at Sony too, but I can't say anything about that. Come on now. Come on, man. But, uh, yeah, man, boycott on, on the Sony universe. I do agree with that. I do agree with that, man. It's been a real big letdown on these Spider-Man movies. Well, on these Craven the Hunter, Madam Web, and uh, Venom, that trilogy, man. How the freak does Venom has a trilogy and not Superman? That's crazy. That's crazy, by the way. That's nasty work in itself, people. That's nasty work. Just nasty work. Okay, except for the Spider-Verse, right? No, especially Spider-Verse. I'm so tired of them having this license. Spider-Man being the only property they have that is profitable is annoying. They push a story after the story. No, they aren't getting my money anymore. I agree. If you guys want to hurt these companies like Sony, like other companies, not only Sony's, do not buy the movie or watch it. I do agree with that. And they'll take a hit, a, a, a big old decline. That I understand. And they are butchering, and they are butchering stories. That is true. Sony is doing it. They are, uh, they plead guilty. It just keep on happening and happening. And at some point it has to stop. Spider-Man is a cherished, known iconic character and he has the best villains from marvel up in the marvel fictional comic books he got the best villains of all time yes yeah, spider-man so, so, so yeah man i do agree with that and me i say may the boycott start here we need to boycott these garbage films and the audience score for rotten tomato needs to be equivalent to that of Joker 2. It needs to be right there with the critics. And it's not. So how can people in revolt if if that if that the critics and the audience are not on the same page? And you get me, people? And you get me? And you understand me? Yeah. So yeah, man, but but the boycott is real. Boycott the spider you universe. Venom, Madam Web, um, 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 hey, but what else? Venom, Madam Web, Craven the Hunter. Just boycott it all. I'm with you. I'm with you. And, and, and we need to stand together. One person cannot make a difference. It takes a lesion. Once that we become a lesion and we become powerful. 
because Sony, I'm sorry, Sony, yeah, it's about that time, man. I saw that Venom, and it wasn't great. And my name is Marvin X Files. If it doesn't got that, that's that, it's real, it is authentic. Marvin X Files, two fingers. Peace out.